all, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruel trippy YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. And today I'm going to do a video that I don't know if I can explain. But if I want to talk about if I didn't have a YouTube channel, what I think my makeup would look like and if I didn't was into indie brands, does this make any sense? For me it is a little bit hard because when I first started with YouTube it was like around the time when I started to play with makeup. And if you didn't know I started my channel back in 2014. I did it in Swedish first but then I went over to English 2018. And before that I just played with some, some neutral eyeshadows. But yeah. So this is what I think my makeup collection would have looked if I didn't have a YouTube channel and if I just like maybe would do the same look over and over again and wasn't that into in the brands because YouTube has really opened my world to in the brands. I don't know how much of these things that I that is in my collection that I would know of if I didn't have a YouTube channel and if I didn't binge watch YouTube. So there is no like, there are some in the brands but like I haven't taken Kaleidos or Benagiri or Lethal because I don't think that I would have known of them if I didn't have my YouTube channel. And this I mainly like based on what people that I know that doesn't have a big makeup interest, like which brand they know of. Maybe some of these brands they don't know of, but I hope you're getting what I mean. So I'm going to show you what I think I would keep or only have in my collection if I didn't have a YouTube channel. Do I making this really hard for myself? Probably, yes. And I feel like if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I think I would do the same makeup look over and over again. But okay, we just hop into this. So I'm going to start with my base. And for primer, I actually think that I would keep the high or have. For primer, I think I would have the NYX High Gloss Primer. Because even before I started my YouTube channel and starting to wear makeup on camera, I liked something glowy as a base. Because I have a dry face and I want some glow to my face. So I think this would actually be one that I would pick up or on like H&M or something like that. So this I really love and I think this would be something that I would have. For foundation I've taken two. I'm taking one of my longtime favorites. The Blur Foundation from Lumene. I don't think that I would have gone in to test other ones if YouTube wasn't a part of my life. I think I would have just been satisfied with this and be like, yeah, this is a good foundation. It looks really good. I'm going to stick with this. But I also think that I would have something like this, the Glossier Skin Tint. This one I really, really do love to have like an everyday, if I just want my skin to look a little bit more smooth, a little bit more good. So I think this also would be something that I would have together with the Glossier Stretch Concealer. This I do really love and I think because this is, has not high coverage at all and it's really like skin-like and it wears really good. So this would be something that I would be looking for. And when it comes to powder, I think I will... I'm not like a big powder person right now because I find the powder and then I love it. So I actually think that I would have these two that I use the most now. So it is the Nabla close-up powder uh, that looks like this. And Nabla is actually a brand that I discovered before I started to see it on YouTube. It was beauty bloggers, we did beauty bloggers. Because once upon a time you could buy Nabla in Sweden from Swedish retailers. I don't think you can do that anymore, no. So I would keep this pressed powder and have it set my face and I would also keep the RCMA powder to have underneath my eyes. So that is like the easy part when it comes to my base. And I actually don't know if I would use contour but if I would 
I would take my favorite, <laughs> the Ombra from Nabla. I love this one and it is so subtle and it is so amazing. I love this one. I've been using this a lot, so I would definitely have this. And also my favorite highlighter, Ozone from Nabla. And the last thing for my base, or the second to last, I would have the Infinite palette that I'm like 100% sure of. This palette would be in my collection if I didn't. It was such a big makeup lover. And I would use this for blush. Because I feel like if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I think I only needed two blushes in my life. Frankly, I don't know if I need more than two now. Maybe just one. But I would keep this because I can do a lot with this and I have another highlight and a contour as well. So this is definitely something that would stay in my collection. And I also, I was thinking about like setting spray, like do I really think that I would have a setting spray? But then again, yes, I think I would have one and I think I actually would go with an all-nighter. This is not my favorite setting spray by far, but it's very popular. In Sweden it's very popular and I think I would like cave and just buy it just to try it. And if I didn't use this, I think I would just use more of a skincare setting spray, face mist. But I actually think this would be in my collection. So that was all for my base. If we go in, should I take the lips last maybe? So we take the eyes and this was, <laughs> when I was trying to pick out things for this, I was like, maybe I only need three eyeshadow palettes. Because I think if I only did makeup, not for YouTube and only like for myself and my everyday life, I don't think I would do something like this. Because YouTube's, in YouTube's, YouTube inspired me to do things like this and if I didn't have a YouTube channel I don't know if I would go like this. I love this look, but I don't know if it would be something I would do But I would still use an eyeshadow primer and I love this one from Milani So I would definitely keep this and I also would have bought something to use for glitters or shimmer shades and I don't like to use my concealer, so I think I would keep the, or have the glitter primer from NYX. So that was the easy thing when it comes to eyes. So the three palettes I have picked. I don't think any of you can guess these palettes, maybe this one. I would have the side-by-side -side palette from Nabla. I love this palette. It is becoming one of my favorite palettes from Nabla, actually. I think it's so, so good. And I really love the different tones of it. And there is two, maybe maybe I could use this in my crease as well. I have never used it actually. But I think I can go a lot of ways with this. And I can do it really dark, I can do it really light. And I think I would find the signature look within this palette that I will do over and over and over again. And this was actually in my if I could only keep 10 palettes, this was in that video and yeah, I really like this palette and I use it kind of a lot for being me, so I guess if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I would use it even more. But then I was like, okay, I think sometimes I might want something colorful. So this is a palette that I haven't even tried yet, at least not when I'm filming this, so maybe this is a strange palette to take. But I know that I would want some pop of colors. So I took the color palette from Linda Holberg or LH Cosmetics. Yes, because here I have one of each. I have a black, I have a white, I have a beige, blues, pinks, red, orange, yellow, and green. So if I want some pop with this side by side, I could take this. And this is available in stores in Sweden. So this would be something that I would see when I'm in the store and <laughs> like, oh, colorful eyeshadow. Maybe that's fun from time to time. So this one would be one that I would use. And the last eyeshadow palette is from Colourpop. And I do really love 
orange eyeshadow. I do really love red eyeshadows and I love that before I started to do more colorful looks on YouTube. So I would actually have the whatever palette. This is an amazing reddish palette with some amazing orange shimmers and I think this would fill my need when it comes to red and orange and a little bit more darker colors and yeah could my life exist with free eyeshadow palettes maybe this is a normal life I think it's so strange to like think about how much makeup I have, how much makeup I buy and just it feels so strange sometimes because I know this is not normal and I guess that free palettes for a normal person or a normal user maybe is a lot. I don't know, it has been such a long time since I have been a normal makeup consumer. What am I even going with this? And I would also have some eye pens. And I think I would have something like this. I would want a black one. I just took a black. This is the one from Urban Decay. I just know that sometimes I might want to use a black one. But other than that, I just think I would take like pastels. So like a nude pastel. This is Honey Dude from Colourpop. Just if I want something. And then I think kind of these three. So it's Peach Fuzz that is a little peachy fluffy that I have on today that is pink one and Emma Fist Hour that is like a lavender one and I think I would be set I don't think I would want the green pen maybe maybe not maybe I would buy the mood crayons from Linda Harburg then Lynch Cosmetic maybe maybe I should have taken them as well you know what I can try to find them I find three of them so I actually think that I would have these left. She has some pastels and a mood kit from LH Cosmetics. Maybe that feels a little bit more like what I would have. And for mascara, I would just have one. It is like that now. <laughs> we have like one open mascara that I use, and I don't think I have any more backups so. As for right now, I'm using Vicious from Nabla and this could definitely be a mascara that I would use or I would use something from a Swedish brand. Also, okay, if we went into lips and this was... It almost felt hard <laughs> like than taking the eyeshadow palettes. But should we start off easy? I think I actually would keep some glosses and these are my two favorite glosses that I have. This is from LH Cosmetics. It's Pestle Peach and Mellow Mauve. These lip glosses are really, really good. Even for me, that is a person that don't like lip gloss, I really do love these. And I would also keep two of uh, LH Cosmetics Fantastics. <laughs> I would keep Pink Opal. This is my most used lipstick I have in my collection. I love this one. I think... It works with everything. It's a really sheer pink one and I would also use Famous that is like pink opal but it's a little bit more grungy. So I would use these two and also my new favorite from Melage Cosmetic. Mellow Mauve. There is a new one just to have something a little bit more to cover. And the last lipstick that I would keep or have keep or have have I think it actually would be rumors from Nabla. I would want a red lipstick and I love the formula on this one and I love the color. It's a coal toned red lipstick and I love it. And yeah, I think that what somewhat what my makeup collection would look if I didn't have a YouTube channel. And also I think it's important to know if you watch a lot of YouTube and you watch a lot of beauty makeup YouTube and beauty gurus, just know that you don't need everything. I don't need everything like this. This is my hobby and I sometimes like get sick of myself on myself 
for having so much makeup. I could never, never use this up. Like, never. Maybe if I covered my body each and every day in eyeshadow, maybe then if I do it every damn day, my whole body, maybe then I could finish up one or two palettes. But to finish up everything, it's never going to happen. And I think it's <laughs> it's important for you to know that you don't need a big collection. I could do so many things with just these three palettes and maybe my singles from Lethal. I think I would be good. I don't need everything that I have. I love the most palettes I have, but I do not need them. Nobody needs this much makeup that I have. But it is a hobby. If you love books and you have like 200 books, that is okay. And if you love makeup and have 400 palettes, that's also okay. But I think it's somewhat important to talk about you don't need it. You do not <laughs> need as much makeup that I have. Nobody does it. And yeah, I think that is all for this video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you understand what I wanted with this video. I know that these three palettes that I've chosen aren't my favorite palettes. Maybe side by side is one of them. Well, <laughs> like the color palette from LH Cosmetic I haven't even used. But I think this would be something that I would felt like it's enough if I didn't have my YouTube channel. And I think that I, you can still love makeup as much as I do and as much as the most beauty gurus and beauty YouTubers do without having too much. I think it gets more creative if you don't have that much, but yeah, that's a whole nother subject. Maybe I do a good run with me about this. I don't know. But I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!